was mid-July and getting hotter. I was concerned about Lulu inside the RV, so I gave her a haircut, which turned into a massacre. While walking the dog one day, Cody came up to console her. I was very curious about the bus, so I asked what's up with the bus parked every day in the middle of the parking lot. It was then Cody introduced me to Happy. Here was the center of the parking lot's universe. The police department, the courthouse, the free food outlet, psychological and spiritual advice, the enforcer, ambassador, mayor, and visionary for the parking lot. We talked about everything from batteries you shake and never have to throw away to astral projection. After having a conversation with Happy, one may take a day to completely comprehend the subject matter discussed. He was the Robin Hood of the homeless. He's struggling, yet he always puts food on the hood of his bus for the taking. Happy knew everyone and was respected. In hindsight, I realized without Happy, I would have never survived. He kept watch over the parking lot, so he kept watch over me in a sense. Not that I felt like I needed protection, but it was there nonetheless. The amazing thing was his internet cam setup from his aboutusnow.com page on the internet. One could go live to the parking lot. He asked me to do a plug for him, so I did. About Us Now Network. That's right. This is state of the art. Only one place in the world can do that. Right here, Venice, California. Come to the parking lot. See happy. <laughs> It's always interesting just hanging out with Happy at his place. He doesn't matter. He threw something through his glasses, actual glasses, into the river on a serious LSD trip. And he saw power ships. That's the only real one we got. 
Yeah, you'd be lying. I thought I was crazy. No, no, no. I thought I was a weirdo. Like, hey, you came here and you thought, wow, I'm pretty normal. I'm normal. <laughs> I'm normal. <laughs>